All right, example four says using an equilateral triangle, show how the lengths of the short leg, the long leg, and the hypotenuse of a 30, 60, 90 triangle are related. So um, essentially what we want to do is prove our two equations here. So the hypotenuse of the 30, 60, 90 triangle is going to be equal to two times the short leg, and the long leg is equal to the square root of three times the short leg. So if we're looking here at our 30, 60, 90 triangle, we know the hypotenuse is the side across from the right angle. And then in a triangle, the shorter side is going to be across from the smaller angle. So 30 degrees is smaller than 60, so that's our smaller angle. So across from that is going to be our short leg. And then 60 degrees is our larger angle, so across from 60 would be our long leg. Right, so we're trying to prove here that our hypotenuse AB is equal to a, 2 times AD. And then we're trying to show that uh, the long leg, so let's write this down. The hypotenuse here, AB, we're trying to show that AB is equal to 2 times AD. And we're trying to show the long leg here, which is BD, is equal to the square root of 3 times the short leg, which is AD. Okay, so that's what we're trying to prove here. Okay. Um, so we know this is an equilateral triangle. They're telling us the big one, ABC, is an equilateral triangle. So if it's equilateral, we know all three sides of that triangle are the same length. So we know AB is equal to BC, which is equal to AC. All three sides of the big triangle are the same length. Okay. Um, first thing you want to do is draw in an altitude. So we have two uh, 30, 60, 90 triangles. They've already drawn that in for us. So they've drawn in the altitude here. Um, and we know if it's iso so it's equilateral. All the sides are the same. That means AB and BC are congruent. So um, if it's equilateral, it's also isosceles. And we know the altitude of an isosceles triangle is going to be a perpendicular bisector. So we know AD here is congruent to uh, DC. All right, so we know that the length of AD is equal to the length of um, DC or CD. Those two lengths are equal. We also um, can set up an equation here. So we know AD plus CD is going to be the whole thing, which is AC. So AC, that whole bottom piece, this is our segment addition postulate. So that whole piece AC is going to be equal to the first piece AD plus the second piece CD. We know that AD equals CD, right? And so we can put in, substitute in an AD here, right? We're trying to get AB equal to 2 times AD. That's our goal. So we don't want a CD in there. Let's put the AD in. And that's going to get us our 2 AD part. So we can say AC is equal to AD plus AD which is 2 times AD. Okay. And we know since this is equilateral, we know AC here is equal to AB. So we can substitute in AB for AC. Right. We know AB should be the same length as AC. It's equilateral. So AB equals 2 times AD. Right. And that's our first proof. Right, that shows that um, the hypotenuse AB is equal to, to 2 times the short leg, which is AD. So we're good on that one. Right, now we have to do the other one. Um, the other one, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so we know AB is equal to 2 times AD. 2 times AD. Okay, we know that this piece here is AD, and then we can use BD here. So we're going to try and show that BD is equal to the square root of 3 times AD. We're going to start, though, with the Pythagorean theorem. So we know A squared plus B squared equals C squared, so that's going to be leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. So AD squared plus BD squared equals the hypotenuse squared, which is 2 times AD 
uh, squared. Okay, well, um, we know that uh, 2 squared is 4, so we can say AD squared equals BD, or I'm sorry, plus BD squared plus equals 2 squared is 4, so that's going to be 4 times AD squared. If we subtract AD squared from both sides, so I'm going to subtract an AD squared from both sides. We're going to end up, these will cancel, right, and you're left with BD squared equals 4 minus 1 is 3, so that's 3 times AD squared. Right, and then uh, we can take the square root to get BD by itself. So you take the square root of both sides. That's going to give us BD equals square root of 3 times, and we know the square root of AD squared is simply AD. And that gives us our second equation. So we've now shown that the long leg BD is equal to the short leg AD times the square root of 3. Okay. And there's our proof. So there's our two equations.